I've got all my unit test answer scripts and today I will be sharing how to present your answer script to the teacher for your pre-boards, boards, half yearlies, unit tests, all your exams. So you can score really good marks above 95%. I scored a 97 in class 10 boards and I can tell you how you can do that too. I'll be going subject wise. These are all my answer scripts of unit tests. I've also got all my half yearly papers. So if you want that video, like this video and subscribe before we start. Always try to attempt section wise. Like I have started with section 1. Then for one word answers, I will always leave a line between each answer. Write it very neatly. Number. Numbering is very important because if you don't number, you will not get marks at all even if your answer is correct. When you have to write differences, always make a table. Don't be lazy. Here I have made a table for each and every answer. I just made it really neatly. For odd one and category, do not try to write something extra. Your answer needs to be very crisp. Generally for this section, students write one or two word answers. But you can only do that if it is clearly mentioned in the paper that you are not supposed to write the entire sentence. If not mentioned, then please write the complete sentence. This is how I have done. Please don't forget to label the diagram. And like I have written something over here, but I would tell you, write everything on the right side. It is just easier to correct. The teacher will be happy. If there is no space, then you can come to the other side. But as you can see, like I have tried to end all these lines in a straight line and then I've tried to label with block letters then for long answers I would say point form can be used just try to avoid cuttings like this because it can lead to you losing marks don't leave out any answer even if you don't know the answer just write something you might not get marks for it but you might get if the corrector is happy he might just give you half a mark or something so don't leave out any answer then for these questions also try to avoid cuttings like i have improved a lot from here like my handwriting has also improved and I don't make any more cuttings like this. You can see my pre-boards answer script also. I'll share that as well. Just like the video and comment if you need that. Give complete definition. So just be careful and try to avoid making your handwriting this, you know, untidy by the end of the paper. And if there are any pages left, just cross it out. But don't do it before your submission. Just do it at the last moment pe because you might, you know, just remember that you've forgotten something. And always check the question paper very nicely that you've not missed out on any question. For maths, there are some questions where you're supposed to write the answer directly. So I would do this. Here are my marks if you want to know. So if you make any mistake, for example, I made a mistake over here. I'll just take a pen. I'll just take a pencil and strike through it like this. Not scribble at all because it just does not look nice. Then I'll do the question again. I left some space just in case. But I would always prefer to start one question on a new page. Like question 3. Could have been done over here. Enough space is there. But I would still prefer to do it on a new page. Question 3, 4. And that is how I have done my maths paper. So if there are any diagrams for geometry questions, definitely do those. Don't make brackets like this because it does not look nice. Don't make boxes like this. I don't know why I've done it. But I improved a lot. Like I started using a scale. I'm also sharing what all mistakes I had made. Please avoid that. Diagrams and all, just make it very neatly. Always have a column in maths. Don't do the rough work in the back or on a rough sheet. Just do it on the page itself. Because you get marks for rough work also. What I would do for maths, I would solve the entire question paper once. And when I'm done with the paper and I have a lot of time left, then I would just solve it again. But this time I would just do it in rough. And I would write on top, please omit this page, thank you. <laughs> Moving on to literature. So here are my marks. I got 40 out of 50. My unit tests are on 50 marks. So I've written all my answers very neatly except for these cuttings which I have started uh, avoiding. I used to make these in younger classes but now I'm good at it. So yeah, just write it very nicely. These papers are quite old that's why they're all crumbled but they were not before. For chemistry I got 44 out of 50. There was a line given and we had to write the appropriate element. The paper seems pretty neat. I feel like very nicely written everything you know explained properly if there is a two mark answer the answer length should be big and if there is a one mark answer then the answer length should be small 
बिकॉज द टीचर्स ऑल्सो डोंट हैव दैट मच ऑफ टाइम ना फॉर ऑड वन एंड रीजनिंग अगेन आई वुड टेल यू मेक अ टेबल मेक एज मेनी टेबल्स एंड चार्ट as you can because it will help you gain marks making diagrams is very important even in subjects like physical education if you can make diagrams just make for my hindi paper i got a 43 and a half out of 50 which is not that good but it's still okay my handwriting has improved a lot from then which is good i used to make some cuttings and spelling errors also i improved a lot in 9th and 10th so my marks also improved a lot you can see my board result in one of my videos i posted but yes my hindi and bengali handwriting have improved a lot i just used this to practice once like after i got my answer script i just used this page at home i was not that good in english language in this class but i improved a lot like you can see so many answers are wrong here but i practiced a lot in 10th and then i scored really good marks like a lot of practice okay i was so unsure about the pattern format and it wasn't good but then i kept practicing i didn't give up and it just kept improving you know this is my chemistry answer script i got a 47 and a half quite neat i would say just one word and then you get your mark it's very nicely given and then over here you can write answers when there are sums just write the formula because there is one mark for the formula also and one mark for the answer this is very important and then don't try to write on top because it does not look nice our teachers also used to tell us to not do that you no know, just write answers very nicely and after every answer just make an ending line try to avoid cuttings again i would tell you because if you make cuttings you will lose marks make boxes on your answers final answers with a pencil make it very carefully don't make it look that ugly and if there is any diagram just make a diagram <laughs> teacher will like it for so geography i got a 47 and my paper is not that neat over here but it is still decent like some students have really bad handwriting and really bad paper presentation even worse than this these answer scripts are actually quite old these are not my 10th answer scripts these are for class 8 but i could find these so i just shared because it really doesn't matter paper presentation is for all classes uh, for maps i would tell you just be careful reverse with blue mountain ranges and plateaus with brown and you should learn these very nicely because this is very very scoring so you can easily score good marks I think I just showed all my papers. Biology, I showed you. Yes. So basic structure. So I think you've understood that you are supposed to make ending lines. You're supposed to make diagrams very neatly, and you know, write with beautiful handwriting. Don't make cuttings and all of that. But some additional tips that will make your paper stand out even more. Number one is that make underlinings. Once you've completed the entire paper, start from question number one. When you are revising the paper, take a pencil and a scale. then keep underlining the important terms it will really really help in the keywords it's very important to underline them because if it stands out examiner will just see the word give you a mark and if he is able to correct your paper very fast he'll be very happy with it and you will get your marks and acha ho jayega aapka paper okay for diagrams use a pencil and make all the markings on the right side maps be careful with maps for long answers make paragraphs especially for literature start with two finger space and don't make silly errors like you know missing a comma full stop just don't make marks cutne uske don't make grammatical errors so you need to practice a lot at home and keep following every day at 5 pm on my youtube channel see you tomorrow and i love you so much comment what you want to see next ye video itne logo ne comment kara tha that is why i posted like this video if you want me to continue this series chalo bye